In this video, I'm going to show you some basic Canvas tools that you are going to need to know in order to be successful on Canvas. So let's jump into it. When you log in, your screen is most likely going to look like this. Um, this is the course that I build on my stuff in, so here we go. Um, so what I like to do with Canvas is create modules. And so in these modules, um, this is going to be everything that goes with the unit. So uh, if you're trying to build your Canvas course, I highly recommend making these modules. So you can see I have the Republic of Texas here, and I have early statehood and the Mexican-American War there. And those are our next two units. Now, and to add a new module, you're just going to come in here and you're going to say, all right, we'll say test. Okay, so if we go in there with test, um, so that's it. So we've created test. Obviously, there's nothing in there. Um, if there was, we would see it much like this, but there's nothing in there. You also see this right here. Um, so this is a little indicator for you, and it's going to be on all of your documents. So this nothing in here is published yet because my kids are not here yet. Um, but this is going to be your little indicator to see if it's published or not. So if you see here, this is the unit that we're currently on. This green check mark is going to mean that it's published. So you can see all of this stuff is published, except that that needs to be published, actually. Um, so that's a little video on how the kids can find everything that they need. Um, so uh, if you want to publish that, you just click that right there. Uh, eventually it'll turn green. Everything is good to go. So uh, this is great. We have a module, but there's nothing in here. Okay, no problem. What do you want to add? Do you want to add an assignment? Easy. You go here to assignments, uh, and then you can either create it or you can drop it in there. So I have a couple here um, that I have created, but let's go to new assignment. So if you want to create a whole new assignment, you click here. Uh, it'll load up. And so you're going to name it right here. Uh, here you can put your instructions. So let's go test. Um, and then right here in this uh, little deal, let's say today you will be testing how to make an canvas. And I can't spell close um, so okay so I put my directions in there no problem uh, is this graded how many points is it uh, is it is an assignment obviously um, do I want to put complete or incomplete so they're gonna just gonna do it uh, is there points letter grade GPA scale or is it not graded um, so you, then your submission type here so may, my stuff is mainly submitted online so do I want text entry website URL uh, can they actually go in there, like record themselves doing it, uh, file upload, whatever it is. Um, so let's just hit test, text entry, website URL, URL, and file upload. Now you can restrict your types. You can go to docs. Um, you put dot docs. You have to put dot doc oh, with the X at the end for the max. Um, you can do all that, no problem. Um, so I don't like to restrict my files though. Uh, I feel like it's kind of restrictive on the kids. Um, is this a group assignment? No, probably not. Um, does it require peer review? No, probably not. Uh, the date, when is it due? Uh, most things everybody puts this on Sunday. It automatically puts 11.59. So um, unless you want to make it do it like noon or whatever, uh, you can put the time in here, right here. Uh, you can specify the time and now you're going to put it when it's available for it. So today's March 18th. Um, if I don't want the kids to be able to see it until March 23rd, I can click that. And then if I need it to lock out, um, let's say let's lock them out on the fifth, um, put that and then I save it. All right. Available date can't be before the due date. All right, save it. So there is my assignment. Uh, so I can go in here and I click edit if I need to change it, whatever. So I just basically put their instructions in there. Um, so how I use it, I use Google Docs, really. Uh, so I put the Google Doc link on there and like say it's vocabulary or whatever. 
hey, here's your vocab Google Doc, make a copy of it, submit it back into me. That's it. Um, so that's basically self-explanatory in assignments. You want to put discussion there. Um, you, you can add a discussion board post. Uh, everything is it's pretty self-explanatory. Just like the um, assignments tab, you can go in here and you can do all this. Uh, is it graded? Uh, is it a group discussion? Do you want to allow them to like it? Do, can they respond? Um, this is the one I usually click because if you're like me, you were in college once and you just read everybody else's and then I kind of summarized that uh, for yourself. But uh, you can click that right there. Uh, we can name this. We'll name this one test just so I can show you how to add everything. Um, and when is it due? Uh, let's do it. March 23rd when can they see it they can see it on the 18th no, let's put it on the 19th and then let's lock them out on the 25th save that right there uh, then you can go the grades will be able to see I can't show you that because my kids actually have grades in there um, pages you can uh, basically you can make your inch your front page uh, you click view all pages. These are everything that I've got in there. Um, so a page is easy that you can put like a link in there. Or if you want to upload a picture or something like that, um, you can put that there. And then you have files. Um, so files are in here. Um, basically uh, PowerPoints and things like that. So I've got a couple images. Uh, map right here. Basically a bunch of PowerPoints, some hard copy notes, stuff like that. Uh, syllabus not really worried about quizzes this is the one uh, that's going to give you a lot of trouble and I'm going to do an entire video on quizzes um, so stay tuned for that but the quizzes are going to give you a little bit of trouble uh, it's just kind of harder to navigate but I think I've figured it out well enough to where um, it can be successful for you so I've got uh, four created um, I think they're pretty good. We'll see how that goes. Um, and that's basically everything that I use in Canvas. Um, now, there are a lot more things that you can do, but for the basics, that's what, I, that's what I'm using. So we're back to this test module. Um, as we know, there's nothing in it. So let's go ahead and add stuff. So if you see here, this is your drop down, like what kind of category do you want to add to it? Um, so for me, let's add the assignment right now so we can go to test, add that item. It's now in our module. Um, so I've instructed my kids like, hey, all you have to do is look at the module and it'll have everything you need to do in the order of which you need to do it. Um, so they can come in here and just look at it and uh, they know the order that it goes. So uh, let's add something else in here. Let's go to that quiz that we theoretically put in our next video so we added that quiz uh, let's go in here and add a page uh, we created a test video a test page basically a vocabulary video let's put that in there um, let's go in here and add uh, let's go in here and add a file uh, let's see we like the plucked image we can add that let's go here and add a discussion board post that we made at that item and I think that's basically everything that's that we needed right so that's everything that we went through okay so like I said everything is in the order that it needs to be so like my kids how to operate canvas I created a video for them um, the Republic of Voca Republic vocabulary instructions vocabulary video uh, vocabulary Dropbox um, everything that they need is in the order of which it occurs okay you see the unit quiz is at the very very end um, so how did I get that so obviously um, we pre-teach vocabulary you probably do too so move to um, let's see we're in the test module so that's the first one move to put it right at the top because that's what's first move it there boom uh, vocabulary video is now at the very very top of everything so this is a quiz um, for us mainly the unit quiz goes to the very last thing that they need to do so we're in the test module we go at the very bottom move it boom ok 
Okay, so this test, uh, this discussion board post, let's say it theoretically goes with the vocabulary. Uh, so I want to move the test and I want to put it after the vocabulary video. Move it there and it's there. Okay, you can't really see, but you can see that this is the discussion board post. This is the um, assignment that we gave them. So let's move this assignment all the way to the bottom because we decided that it's a project. Uh, again, we're in the test module. Uh, we're going to go after statehood unit quiz, move it there, and now you can see that it's there. So if I wanted to publish this module, I want to publish everything, again, I click that right there, that green, uh, and then as soon as I publish that module, it publishes everything in the module that I've created. Um, so if I unpublish that module, uh, it's not necessarily going to unpublish everything that I've created, but um, they can't see the module, but they can still go in these um, individual tabs, these assignments and stuff like that, and see all that. But I don't need any of this, so I'm going to delete it all because that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. hope that helps. Uh, if you need any other specific uh, Canvas questions or you need, uh, you got any ideas for a video that I can make, I'm going to make that how to make a quiz video. Uh, you just got to stay tuned for that. Uh, if you have any more uh, video ideas that you need help with in Canvas, especially during this time, please do let me know. I'd be happy to do it.